guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and we're back in Kyle on my Golden Sun walkthrough! Welcome back, guys. Since last time, um, I did do a little bit of level grinding before um, starting the episode, and I also went on back to Toby, and I spent those Lucky Medals and Game Tickets. All screen, I got Isaac and the others up to level 43 each. By the time we get on back to Crossbone Isle, I want to have Ivan and Mia at level 46, because they'll both learn the Pure Wish synergy at that level. So, you know, there you go. So, yeah, it'll be really good healing magic for both of them. Now, I also went on back to Toby, as I said, spent those lucky medals and game tickets. From the game tickets, I got the quick boots for Isaac. It boosts defense and agility. And for Isaac, it boosts his agility by 30 plus points. So, that is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. So, you know, there you go. Um, I also got um, an, another Adept's Helm, and I got that for um, for Garrett from the Lucky Medals. So, you know, there you go. And oh yeah, I also... Oh wait, whoa, wait, never mind, we got the Dragon X last time. Well, heh. I passed down um, Mia's Blessed Robe, and I gave that to Ivan. And from that other Lucky Medal that I got, I managed to get the Almighty Kimono from Mia, which boosts her agility by like 12 points, and it resists fire, and there's a bug in my face. Sorry about that, viewers. There you go. But yeah, it is really good. Definitely try and get the kimono for Mia. It is awesome. Since we're back here in Kyle, well, last time we rescued Master Hemet from Dundampa. So now let's go and pay him and Lady Lyania a visit and see how life is going for them before we continue on with the plot. So, you know, there you go. How's it going? So, it's Ivan and his companions. Perfect timing. So, it's you. Yes, I told you time and time again not to go to Lumpa, but you went anyway. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for going and rescuing your husband. Oh, you must be so pissed at me. Wow, bitch. Please, Lana, don't be so harsh on them. Naturally, I'm happy that they rescued you. Oh, oh, okay, good. Never mind. I re okay, I take back calling you a bitch. You just came off as one. But this was something that Kyle should have handled alone. And what were your men supposed to do there? They extorted so much money from you. You didn't really do anything. Well, yeah, we do have a more pressing quest at hand. But we wanted to rescue Hammett, too. Yes, your mission to recover the elemental stars. Uh, Lyania, you shouldn't. I, I had to rescue Hammett, no matter the cost. He's my dad! Adopted dad, but... The surrogate dad, but you know what I mean. It's already done. There's nothing more to be said. Hold on. We all wanted to save him and just as badly as Ivan did. It doesn't matter, Garrett. I'm the one at fault. I made a mistake. We will leave immediately on Felix's trail. Why is it suddenly Felix's trail? He's not the one responsible for stealing the stars. So, I, I, I don't know why the fuck it's like, oh, we have to go after Felix and the others. We have to go on Felix's trail. It's, Felix wasn't the one that even did all this. Yes, that would be best. Leave immediately. What, what is her problem? Mike, we should get going. Ivan, is this really what you want? Huh. Well, if Ivan says so, should we go, Mike? Yeah, yeah, we wasted enough time here. Take your shaman's rod and go to Hesparia. Hesparia? Where the fuck is that? That is what the Jupiter Adept said. What Jupiter Adept? Where, where's Hesparia? It's a, it's, a, it's a continent to the west of Angoria. Oh, I see. Wait, what are we going to find Hesparia if we go? I don't know. The continent to the west on the other side of the sea? Don't waste your time, Chatter. You must set out immediately. Alright, this bitch is getting on my nerves. Fuck her. Like, seriously. I will. At least, viewers, at least Master Hemet is thankful. Like, seriously. Let's see what he has to say. Linnea's words pain her more than they know. Surely Mike and his friends understand Lyanna's feelings. Yeah, I get it a little bit, but she comes off as such a bitch. Like, seriously, I went out of my way to rescue her husband. And then, she just goes like, Oh, um, get out! Like, literally. Like, okay then, I'll, I'll leave if that's what you fucking want, bitch. Like, seriously. 
I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm being too hard on her. But still, it's like, come the fuck on! But in any case, hey, Bunta! How's it going? Lainey was very hard on you all, wasn't she? Yeah, pretty much. I think she went too far telling you all to leave. But she's the one who regrets parting ways with Ivan. Pretty much. But yeah, now that we saved Master Hemet, we got access to the full brunt of the Kai Lake Tunnel here. To get some more treasure! You must rescue Master Hemet in order to gain access to the rest of the Kai Lake Tunnel. If not, then this spot here will be blocked off. So, you know, keep that in mind, viewers. Otherwise, the net though, we gotta push this into the water. Forward! There you go. Forward again! There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Otherwise, the net deal let's go over here and use frost. There you go. Frost it, baby. Ice, ice, baby. Thank you. Come again. Yoink. Because over here we get the spirit gloves. Spirit gun. No, no. That's different. It boosts elemental power. I want you to give that to Ivan. So, you know, there you go. I mean, yeah, his wind synergy is not that strong. So, we need something that packs a little bit extra oof. Uh, no, no, sorry. Oomph. Sorry. Not oof. Oomph. Oomph. Yeah. Ah. Uh, no. Oomph. Oof. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Do it live. Do it live. No. <laughs> oh, God. In any case... But yeah, there is a lot more treasures that we can pick up here. This is where we got that Degen earlier. That's not where I actually wanted to go. I got a little bit lost here. My bad! Otherwise than that though, let's see. Which way did we come from? Am I getting lost? Wow. Okay, oh, oh, okay, never mind, fuck it, fuck it, we just came from there. Ugh. Just, just, ugh. Whatever. In any case, ah, sorry, yeah, there's one more treasure chest that I want to get in here. Man, it's a long ass narrow hallway here. Where is that treasure chest? Huh. Ah, there you are, baby. Over here we get an apple. Nice. Remember, viewers, an apple a day keeps the well Loch Ness monsters away. So there you go. Use catch and grab these nuts. Literally. Woohoo! Nice. Alright, with that, we can head on out of here then. We are done at Kyle. That's all we really needed to get here. But yeah, that's where you'll end up if you take the if you take Bunja's wagon back to Kyle from Lumpa. So you know, there you go. Let's get that apple too. Isaac. But yeah, now, um Garrett has the highest attack power in the game. Like, wait, like, wait, what? How is that possible? But, you know, yeah, why did I give this potion to her? Give it to Isaac, or Ivan, whatever. Be right back, and all your viewers, uh, we're continuing on with the plot now, so I'll meet you guys back at Toby. You can get back there via the Godawan Cave to the south of Kylek. So there you go. Be right back. Alrighty, viewers, I'm back. We are back at Toby. Feels like it's been forever since we were last here. Well, not really. But in any case, I forgot to show this off last time we were here. But talk to this guy after Colossal ends. Hey there, there's some leftovers, but have some. Thanks! We get some corn from this guy. Thank you much. The corn is basically a healing item. It restores 100 of the character's HP. We don't really need that because, well, we got nuts! But I just wanted to show off getting it, because, well, it's there. Oh, yeah, viewers, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I thought the end was open. Surprisingly, the end is still closed. Because people from Kyle are still here. Apparently, the um the ship's captain back at the um the Toby Bound ship is... Huh? Yeah, he's still not... He's not selling the ship back to Kyle for whatever reason. What's this? What the hell? Hello? Oh, uh-oh. What? I didn't find anything! I'm not stealing! No, I was just doing some work I had to do. It's rude to startle people! How wooed! What the fuck was her problem? Huh, whatever. But in any case, over here, another lucky medal. Why she was trying to stash that inside of the, um, the, uh, I guess, trash can? 
barrel, whatever. I, I have no idea. She's just being a little sneaky bitch. So, you know, there you go. We're all a little sneaky. Since we're here in Toby, we might as well put these lucky medals to use. Dice roll! Come on! Yay! Earth shield that I did not need. Let's try again. Dice roll! One! Get! Dude! Two Earth Shields! This game's RNG sucks ass. <laughs> in the case, the Earth Shield is used to restore 150 um, HP in battle. I'm going to give it to Garrett, but I'm not going to equip it. We don't need one for Isaac, so we'll just save that there. But yeah, at this point, I pretty much got everything I wanted from the Lucky Medals. So really, there's nothing else that I really care for to get. Now that, now that we're done at, um, at Toby, let's head on and continue on with the plot now. Let's head on to the God of Wand Passage and meet up with Ildem. Hey dude, sorry it took me so long. I've been waiting for you, Mike. We should head to Bobby Lighthouse soon. Right. But in any case, at this point, um, Ildem becomes a guest party member. So yeah, with guest party members, as you'll see with this and the next game, guest party members, well, they don't fight in battle. They're just, well, they're there, pretty much, to, you know, for plot purposes. In any case, let's explore the town of Sahala. Sahala! Holla back at your boy! No, no. In any case, growth! Now, here in Sahala, I think there... I don't think there is a DJ in here. Huh. Why are, the, why are there sandstorms attacking humans? It's as if the sandstorms are actually alive. The sandstorms alive? That makes no sense. What are you on, kid? No. Welcome to Sahala. I bet the sandstorms were terrible. Okay. I don't recall any sandstorms on the way here. Huh. Maybe there's a desert nearby? Those soldiers kept mumbling about monsters. What soldiers? The sandstorm is the fault of the Ungorians. It's all, if they, they hadn't built that thing in Lalavero, the spirits wouldn't be angry. Are they talking about Bobby Lighthouse? Huh, I can't think of anything else. If they hadn't built this lighthouse, it would, it's such a bad omen. Pretty much. But over here we get a heart nut. Remember viewers, grab these nuts and milk them dry. Oh yeah. Otherwise the net though, I'm giving that to Mia. Because, well, she needs more defense now. Yeah, now Mia is deficient with defense and HP. Ivan, I've, I've raised Ivan so well in this game, I'm pretty much a fucking surrogate dad. Holy hell. Like, seriously, he he was so shit when it came to defense and, and HP. Now he's top tier. Well, not as top tier as Isaac and Garrett, but still. Soldiers from Toby were caught in the sandstorms and, all, and nearly all perished. Oh, shit. The survivors are in that house. Uh, good to know. Let's go check him out. Hey, dudes. Ildem. Uh-oh. Danger music. You soldiers were supposed to be heading for Bobby Lighthouse. Ildem, what are you doing here? Bobby ordered me to go to, to the lighthouse with Mike. Uh, you were, you were escorting Sheba to Lalivero, no? Oh, right, that Shiba chick. I forgot about her. We've disgraced Toby. What happened to Shiba? Where is she? Don't tell me you lost her. I don't know. When we when we awoke, we were in these beds. Ah, uh, if anything has happened to Shiba, what will become of the lighthouse? Okay, so what's going on with this Shiba chick, Ildem? Shiba was the sole reason Lalavero aided us in its construction. Is that so? We entrusted you to, with Sheba to speed up the construction. Was that a mistake? Ildem, I know that at the very least Sheba wasn't in the sandstorm. Is this true? Sheba was entrusted to our care, so we shielded her at, at any risk. Okay. You acted properly then, but where is Sheba now? Uh, probably not far from the edge of the sandstorm that hit us. Mike, we must go to the desert and find Sheba. Right. If you're going to the desert, beware of that cyclone. Cyclone? At first, we couldn't avoid getting caught in the sandstorms. Okay. But there were others who were... 
who were able to make it through the storms. Okay, so what happened to them? Who knows how they got through it, but they used water to stop the, the cyclones. Water? Huh. You, you can stop the sandstorms with water, huh? Good to know. Good to know. That is actually important, viewers. Keep that in mind for later. I think I understand. Now get some rest. Don't you die on me! Wait, I don't them. There's more. You must not meet our fate. What is it now? The sandstorms are caused by monsters. Monsters? Are you serious? The others, they slayed the beast. That's how they got through. Oh. Who, who are they? When the storm stopped, they were, they were to move ahead. But a new storm always... Wait a minute. Are they talking about Saturos and the others? Oh, okay, now it makes sense. Okay, Saturos and the others defeated these monsters before. Well, I guess they were just, I guess they just got through the Sahala Desert. That's who they're talking about. They had strange powers. We had to bring barrels filled with water. But carrying the barrels exhausted us, and then the beast... Huh. That's enough. Get some rest. Th they are dangerous, those others. Slay that beast and take up the trail. Right. Thank you for your help. You've dispensed your duties with honor. Could, could these others be the ones you're following, Mike? Yeah, it's gotta be. I can't see who else will be slaying these beasts. You took the same impression from them as that tell I did. We must find Sheba as quickly as we can. Right. Then we should be get through the Sahala and pursue your opponents. Right, right. In any case... Okay, so yeah, Saturos, Saturos and the others got through Sahala Desert. That's how they were able to get through. But I wonder what happened with Sheba, though. Sheba was not far behind us, so she should still be safe. Sheba must be in the desert somewhere. If not, then maybe they... Huh. A column of water shut up when they were caught in the sandstorm. Then the sand was gone. But it was so much water than we could ever hold in our barrels. Okay, now, okay, now, now I think I understand. So, okay, so yeah, Saturos and the others were actually the ones that got through the sandstorms in the Sahala Desert. Basically, I assume Alex is with them. That, that, that weird Sephiroth guy with the blue hair. Yeah, he was able to get past or help them get through the sandstorms using his water synergy. As we saw, you know, obviously Mia already knows Alex, if he should already know by now. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Here at the item shop here in Sahala, they sell some items here. Finally, at the um some artifact items. Side crystals. Well, one side crystal. There you go. And you get a game ticket for your efforts. Um, we also get a water of life. Let's get that for Mia. And they also, if you sold the, um, the cell key from um, Lump of Fortress, you can buy it again for whatever fucking reason. But, you know, there you go. Alright, now, um, I think there is a, um, let me see here. I think there is another lucky medal somewhere. It's to the jar near the Sanctum. Speaking of Sanctum, where is it? I think the Sanctum is, or did we get that already? <laughs> I know my mind is like playing tricks on me. Okay, you know what? Yeah, it, it, it must be that jar then. Alley oop! Yes! Woohoo! Lucky metal get! Alright, so apparently now we know what we gotta do. We have to head through the Sahala Desert and follow after Saturos and the others. But what happened to Sheba? And can we find a way to get through the Sahala Desert? Or is this just going to be a repeat of the Lamekin Desert? Spoiler alert, it won't be. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more dangerous. Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids for me. Hit the bell to stay notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, dudes and dudettes. Smell you later.